Okay, this is our last part on Windows. I have finished all the calculations and now we're ready to take them over to the J1AE and put them where they should belong. Now, this of course is the Valtilo house that was in Gulf Coast Town, Texas and we've moved it to Birmingham, Alabama to do our, our uh, calculations. So as you can see here, I've gotten all the windows done. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And like I said, and we've got all the CTDs, uh, HTMs, and CHDMs. So now we're ready to put all this information over onto the J1. <coughs> now your J1 is your main calculation page. This is where you want to put everything when you're all done. So we're just going to go in here and just start putting this information down as we need to put it in here. Uh, all we have left in the first two videos, we did the north facing window. In another video, I did this one right here by itself just to show you how to do a shaded window. So these are the other uh, east, west, and south windows that need to be calculated for their heat and cooling BTU and their square footage. And of course, the last thing we need to do is make sure we get our load area of the entire process. And then we'll be done with windows and we can move on to skylights, doors, opaque surfaces. <coughs> so let's just close that. And let's look at the first one. Now we already got this one done. This was our north facing window over here. And I just used my little highlighter. Our north facing window was over here. And then like I said, our first window, our B window. So we're on to our C window right here. So our C window will be the one we're working with. And of course I've highlighted things in red, blue, green. I know it's kind of hard to see. And there's another blue down here. Remember, on all your shaded windows, you should always do the calculations all the way down here. So this is east, west, south. All these windows here, these should be your cooling ones. And these should be your heating ones. And this final row down here, this will be our actual square footage of how big is the opening. <coughs> so let's just start with window C. So we got 29.90. And of course, the easiest thing to do this is copy and paste it where it belongs. Okay, now we need to get the cooling HTM. Cooling HTM is down here at the base. Copy it. And go over here and put it right there. And last thing we need is how big is the window opening or how much of this actual window do we have. And we want 44.3, and I'll carry that over to here. Okay. <clears throat> now, as always, we need to do the heat and cooling BTM load of this. Now, remember, this is based on uh, one hour. So, per hour, this is how many BTUs that window is going to actually cost you. So, we'll start with the heating HDM. We're going to multiply it times our actual square footage to give you that. And remember, this is all in square footage, so 29.90 times 44.33 equals 1,325.467. Oops, too many, too many sevens. There we go. Now we're going to do the same for the cooling. We're going to do the cooling HTM times the square footage to give us the cooling HTM or the cooling BTUs, I'm sorry. 4.6, let's go ahead and clear that. 4.6 times, 4.6 times 44.33 and that gives us 2,339.5 and I'm going to put a zero in there just to make it clean since we're going to the thousands place. <clears throat> you can do the same on all these up here or you can leave them as is. I've just found if we're going to the thousands place for accuracy, it kind of pays if you actually do it on all of them. Just like right here, I'm going to just throw in a, another one right there. Get to do, there we go. And another one right here. That's the really good thing about this is I can just slide it a little bit 
and line my decimals up to make it a little bit cleaner, just like that. And it makes for a much more easy calculation, just like that. Okay. All right, our next window is window D. Window D right there, and that is a the West A2 window. So we'll go to the West A2 window, which is this one right here. So we've got 29.9, 29.9 on the next two. So I'm going to copy both of these and send them to the next side over here. Paste. Paste. Okay. And the final one, 28.9. We'll put it in here where it belongs. Paste. Okay. Now we can get the cooling HTMs and all these. <coughs> As you can see down here from the bottom, like I said, this one ran into a negative. And of course, our daylight window over here, it also ran into a negative. So we just copied that number up there and brought it down to here. So for our West A2 window, we got this one right here. So I'll copy it. And it goes right here. And for our next window, 14.73, copy it. And we'll send it to where it belongs. And our final one, 38. Oh, let me move that box off. There we go. Copy it. And send it. All right. Now all we need to do is put all our square footages in here. So we'll get all our square footages. So 15.57. Put that one there. 36. Copy it. It goes right there. And Toyota Wolf, copy it, and it goes right there. Okay. All right. So we'll continue on multiplying and putting our numbers where they belong. Now we should be done with that other page. So everything we need should be on here now. We can do all of our calculations. So this times this for this, and this times this for this. Okay, so 29.90 times 15.75. And there's our heating. This window here is 29 times 36, 29.90, <coughs> excuse me, times 36, and we get 1,076.400. Just adjust that a little bit so it stays clean. Line these up a little bit here. So Meter. Seven, two times thirty-six, and over 
500. Uh, 30 points for John, too. Okay, one more. 28.98 times 12. So you have 57.960. And our last one is 38 times 12, because it's 456. And let me just clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit more straighter. Because like I said, simple mathematical errors, as you see, like not pushing the calculator hard enough or forgetting to put a decimal point, that's what's going to get you. Now the last thing we need to do is get our total load area square footage, so we're just going to add all these up. 24 plus 36 plus 44.33 plus 15.75 plus 36 plus 12. We end at 168.08. Okay. All right, if you've done all that and you've watched all these videos, you should successfully be able to do a complete heat load calculation, manual J residential on your fenestration, your glass, your windows. Uh, make sure this is complete. Make sure all your denominations in here are complete. Make sure you get your correct HTM and cooling HTM, your net area, and then finally you get all your BTUs. Now what we'll do with all these final BTUs once we get down here to the bottom, this will be where we add all that up and get the final BTU requirement that you'd have to have for a piece of HVAC equipment to size a unit correctly. Uh, we'll be moving on to skylights next. This house actually doesn't have skylights on it. So this will be zero, but it's very much similar the same way that you do the windows. The only difference is the curb, uh, actually how high up the window sits up out of the roof. Uh, the curb is the calculation that you'd also have to do with it, but it's extremely similar to windows. If you can do a window, Doing a skylight is not that hard. It's simply just following the instructions just as you did on the worksheet B here to get all these calculations. But these are your final calculations for the Bautilo house that is in Birmingham, Alabama. So if you're doing this work along, remember to round to the thousandths place and make sure that you're getting kind of the same number. If you don't get the same number, look and see on your charts if you're on the correct charts. <clears throat> that is the only warning I'll give you about this window right here. The only difference between this window right here, which was a daylight window, it has no shade or nothing like that. And let me bring that up and show that to you real quick before we leave this. If you go to your windows, we've been working down here in these windows. In other words, the windows that are vertical horizontal blinds at 45 degrees, that's a default. We're just using that as a default because we don't know what they're actually going to put in there and this is kind of middle of the road. A daylight window has no eternal shade. So when you do this calculation, you would do this one right here. Of course, ours, our T3 uh, CTD was 20. It's a southerly window. So that's going to put it on this line down here. So that means the number that you would actually use for this window, since there's no internal shade, would be that right there, 38. Don't use this window down here because this is calculating at blinds. And like I said, as you can see, the numbers are very different, 24 versus 38. So that's why we ended up with this 38 right here. So just make sure you're using the correct charts and you're reading your information correctly. But that's for that one window. This is that one window that wasn't shown. 
Um, it was just understood that it was completed because it was on their J1IE, but this was actually it on this one, Joe. So that should complete you up on this, and like I said, we'll move on to the divorce number.